Adobe InDesign excel at all types of text formatting. In order to complete a restaurant menu, you will explore the differences between character and paragraph formatting and apply a few different types of formatting to the menu text. If you'd like to follow along, you can open this practice file from the downloadable practice files for this tutorial. Now, with the document open, you may see the missing font dialog box. This means you haven't yet installed the fonts used in this document. In InDesign, any text that uses fonts that are missing from your system will be highlighted in pink in the document. To see the pink highlighting, you could drag the dialog box out of the way by this title bar. Now to fix the missing fonts in the missing fonts dialog box, click the activate button to sync the Adobe fonts to your machine. Access to the Adobe font library is included with your Adobe Creative Cloud membership. When syncing is complete, you can click close. If for some reason you don't have access to the Adobe Fonts library, you can click the Find Fonts button in the dialog box. You can then select the font that's missing. You can tell it's missing because you'll see a small yellow yield sign appear here. Then select the font to replace it with down here. And click change all. Once you're finished, you can click done. To start with, you'll learn the difference between character and paragraph formatting. So in the tool panel, select the tool, type tool, and then come down here to the bottom of the page and click in the middle of the paragraph text. To zoom into it, press Command on Mac, Control plus on Window a few times, Now, if you look in the Properties panel on the right, you see this character section of formatting. In the Paragraph section of formatting, Character formatting is formatting applied to the character level. In other words, the individual letters, numbers, and other you select. This type of formatting applies to whatever text is selected, which could be a letter, a word, and even a series of paragraphs. Click to insert the cursor after the text at the beginning of the text down here. Back to the Properties panel, click the kerning value to choose 200. Kerning is the space between characters. Notice how it only affects the space between the characters where the cursor was. That's character formatting. Now to apply for character formatting to a lot of text. Click four times in the text down here to select at all. 
in the Properties panel, click the Lighting value and choose 14 point. Lighting is the distance between the base lines of text. If you look at the lines of text down here, pretend that each line of text is sitting on an imaginary line. The distance between those lines is the lighting value. Now to move up to the top of the page, press the Option key on Mac or the Alt key on Windows to access the hand tool temporary and press and drag in the document window. Now you see the text up here, then release the key. Now you wor work a little bit with paragraph form formatting. Formatting you see in the paragraphs section of the properties panel. It's applied to entire paragraphs, regardless of what's selected in the paragraph. For example, select the word Swiss by double clicking the word. Then in the properties panel, click the align center option and the whole paragraph which is actually only a line of text aligned to center. Now all text in this frame needs to be aligned to center. To do that, you will select all the paragraphs. So choose edit, select all, Click the Line Center option again in the Properties panel. And all the text in the frame aligns to center. Sometimes it can actually be difficult to tell what text makes up a paragraph. For instance, click in the ham and cheese, Swiss cheese sandwich text to see where the paragraph ends. Choose Type, show Hidden Characters. You can now see hidden characters like these little dots, which indicate spaces or these icons, which indicate the end of a paragraph, and other marks that don't normally show or print. To hide those characters again, choose Type, Hide Hidden Characters. And then you can see the entire page. Choose the View, Fit Page in Window. Now that you understand character and paragraph formatting if you discover a few of the many different formatting options available. In your own project, you can start to apply different types of formatting and continue to explore all the formatting options available to you.